I think it would be to make it more accessible to every corner of the world and affordable to provide the opportunities to make it available for both the women in the rural areas and, um, and those in urban areas. I'll talk about uh, the issue of affordability because it's denied so many people for uh, being online. We think that it's important to have public access. Our internet is slow and it's also expensive, but if we can open up, if there's going to be competition, I think if we have more segregated data, we'll be able to see the issues that uh, are really facing us and provide us with information. And I always think knowledge and information are powers. The policy on as government lost as the debate or something is to ensure that uh, they wear a data lens that we devise the policy so that the policy is we have to develop policies to include women, but also to include indigenous people, Afro-American people, disability people, in the creation of the digital economy. Don't build this uh, bill without listening to what we need, <laughs> basically, because we know what we need. Going back to laws that we have had for centuries now, and trying to relook at just like removing those archaic languages of protectionism that's been incorporated in our laws. Fear less internet and trust more what it could bring.